In this video, I'm going to explain and show you why you might upgrade from a lower level to a higher level of Vinyl Master. The US Cutter Edition includes four levels, starting at Cut, which is usually included with a cutter, and then works its way up to Letter, then Pro, and finally Designer. If you go to this website and click on the product links, you will see how each level builds on each level below. Vinyl Master Letter, or LTR, is ideal for small businesses to produce artwork and signs and is also ideal for crafts and hobby applications. It includes a lot of additional modules and comes with very cool effects tools, which I'll show you later. It also includes all these extras as shown in the LTR column. Vinyl Master Professional, or Pro, is ideal for sign shops that require more advanced design tools and features, including advanced text, tile array tools along with step and repeat, plus 3D modeling and a font manager, just to name a few. A major advantage with Pro is the ability to increase your output using cut documents. These allow you to deal with large numbers of cut files, repetitive cutting and oversize artwork, which I'll also show you soon. It also includes these extras in the Pro column. Final Master Designer, or DSR, is a full featured graphic design application and takes all the tools and features of all the lower levels and adds a powerful 3D special effects suite, which includes shading tools and features which allow you to create eye-popping artwork and effects. On top of all these tools and modules such as the mask editor for removing the backgrounds of images, font detective to match fonts from a scan, along with advanced welding tools to deal with complex artwork, plus much more, which again I will go over later in this video. It also includes these extras in the DSR column. And you can upgrade at any time by clicking on this link here, Upgrade License. It brings up the cart, you simply type in your PSN and follow that through and you'll instantly get a PSN back so you can download and start using your upgraded product. Okay, so let's take a look at Vinyl Master Letter. I'll just put the design center away. One thing I will show you which is a very good thing at the higher levels, if I go to the tools here and I go down to designer user modes, I have this thing called expert mode and when I click on that it reveals a lot more tools over here on the left hand side as we can see there. Okay, so now let's look at some of the text tools that Vinyl Master Letter has, which Vinyl Master Cut certainly doesn't. So let's zoom into some of these things and take a look. Here we've got some kerning, which is the spacing between letters. Now in a text mode here and click on one of these and click on the text menu. You can see here we have a lot more tools and features in Vinyl Master Letter that aren't in Vinyl Master Cut. One of those is kerning and tracking. So if I click say on Ultra Loose here, you can see it adjusts the kerning between the characters here. We'll scroll down. In Vinyl Master Letter we get text on a path here and I can adjust the offset. I can push it out or I can bring it in like so. Uh, I can zoom out a little bit more and let's say I select that text like this. I can change the font to something else like that. Um, and then I can if I just click off it and go back. I can then move the position of the text on path like a roller coaster ride as you can see there. That's a very powerful tool, text on path. Uh, on top of that, you've got like text on arc. It's a very popular tool. And I can click in here, and again, I can uh, select the text like so, and I can change the font uh, to something else. Um, I can go above the arc. I can go below the arc, as you can see here. Left click on this, and I can adjust it. So this is another very powerful tool. Come across here. This is another variation of this, where I can adjust that offset, like you can see there. The program also comes with spell checking, so when I click on something that's misspelt, you can see it gives you that underline there, and I can actually uh, change the spelling. Um, and we've got things like text on path here and vertical text. And again, if I go to the front node there, I can then roll it around like that. So these are very powerful tools for designing artwork uh, using text. You can also adjust the pen style here, so I'll just click on the design center, and we'll go down to pen tools. And you can see here, I'll just zoom back into that. And you can see here we have all these pen styles. And if I go into text mode here and select one of these, you can see it brings up the color. I can easily change that to something else. And I can change the type of pen, so something like that. Adjust its thickness, etc., etc. Uh, I can change whether it's smooth, clipped around, or mitered. And you can see there's these different styles here. You can even flatten the pen and cut this out if you want to. So not only is it great for printing and design, it's also cuttable if you want it to be. Okay, so let's go up to the Shapes tools. Now, Vinyl Master Letter comes with a couple of additional power shapes, an arrow and a star. Let's zoom into that and show you what I mean by that. 
Power shapes come with these special nodes, as you can see, and I can adjust those, which adjust the shape of the power shape, in this case the arrow. Same with the star, I can move this in and out like that, and in the second row of tools here you can see I can adjust things like the number of points, and I can adjust the sharpness, and I can even round out the arrow, like so. So I have a lots of uh, powerful tools um, with these adjustable nodes. The other thing too that Vinyl Master Letter has is step and repeat. So if I click on this arrow here, let's say I wanted to repeat this arrow like cut lots and lots of these. What I can do is come up to the design center and as you can see there's lots of tools and features in here and one of these is step and repeat and array tool. So if I click on that, I can actually tile array this arrow and I do that by clicking on these tools here and you can see that it gives me a preview. I can adjust the offset for example and once I'm happy with what I've got I can click apply and you can see I've created a whole bunch of these arrows which I can then send off to be cut. Just undo that. I can also do step and repeat and circle array. Now circle array, I'll show you what I mean by that. If you want to make like a really symmetrical type piece of artwork you can use this tool here and you can see that by clicking on more and more of these in the preview I can create some pretty uh, cool effects here. I can adjust things like the radius and I can change the degrees and you get these sorts of effects like this. And you can imagine the sorts of things you can create with your artwork. So these are some of the really cool effects that you can create uh, using Vinyl Master Letter. Now talking about effects, I'll just open this job here and you can see we have these multi outlines. And if I click one of these and go to the effects flyout tool, you can see that Vinyl Master Letter has lots of effects tools, many more than what Vinyl Master Cutter's got. And if I click on multi outline to select the effect, you can see I can adjust it like so. All the different tools and features I've got here, change colors and do all sorts of things. Um, and I can move on to page two and you can see you've got inlines and you can even adjust the way the outline's drawn uh, on the edges there, as you can see, on the corners. Uh, same with the inlines. So you've got smooth, round, sharp and miter. Now I'll show you some other effects like the shadow effects. I'll just close out of this and might put the design center away. And let's have a look here. So I'll just scroll down to block shadows. And you can see you can create these block shadow effects. So if I click on this, you'll see the block shadow tool there. And now I can adjust the position. So even though this job was designed some time ago, I can come back and continuously um, alter or modify the effect itself. And that's a great thing with uh, Vinyl Master Effects. They're interactive and they're persistent, so they stay even after you save the job. So let's have a look at the drop shadow ones here. So again, we've got these drop shadows, and when I click on that, we get the drop shadow tool. And again, we can adjust. And if, actually, I'll just delete that out, just so I click delete, and I'll show you how easy it is to apply that effect. I simply come down here to drop shadow, and there it is. It's ready to go. And you can see the little offset here. I can change this, I can make it bigger, I can make it less. And if I go into wireframe mode, you can see it's completely cuttable. So it automatically removes all the overlapping lines for me. So there's some really cool tools and features. Um, I'll go on and show you a couple more here. We'll uh, select stripes, I'll come down here to stripes. And you can see this effect here. And I'll just zoom in and go to wireframe mode again. And as you can see, it automatically removes all the overlapping lines ready to go. So another great set of tools and features there. But it doesn't stop there. Vinyl Master Letter also includes uh, several modules. So I'll just create a new page and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to turn the page off here and I'm going to drag and drop in an image. And I'll show you this tool. Zoom out. In Vinyl Master Letter and above, you can actually take images like this and turn them into cuttable vectors. So if I select that and go to Image Cut, the image loads in with what it's going to look like once it's uh, once you've set all your settings here, and I mean I can adjust these, etc. Once I'm happy with those, I click Accept, and if I view that from a distance, I've actually taken a photograph and turned it into um, a vinyl sign, and it's very effective from a distance. It looks really like a picture, so it's another great tool in Vinyl Master Letter and all the levels above it. Uh, another example is engraving. So if I click on this here and I scroll down to the engraving example and load that and you can see here how a toolpath has been created that's really easy to do we just come here and type in say the same text like so uh, in this particular case it's a bold version 
something a little bit larger and to do a engraving path like that all we do is we click on this plugin and go to engraving module and the artwork loads into our engraving module and we can cut the perimeter uh, we'd probably make this tool path or tool diameter a little bit uh, bigger and we might want to do it in say diagonal up for example and you can see it's creating the tool path so I click accept and if I move that off and zoom in you can see that the program's automatically created the toolpath for our engraving machine or our router and we can export that as a DXF file. Okay, so I'll show you another example of a, a module. Let's talk about the multi-language editor. So if I click on that, I've placed some Hindi on my keyboard, so I'll just paste that in. And I'm going to, actually I won't weld, I'll click accept. I'll just move over here a little bit and paste that. And if I go into a wireframe mode, you'll see that there's overlapping characters here. So I'll just move that out the way. And we'll turn that off and we'll go back to the multi-language editor. And I click weld here and click accept. Put that down. You'll see here what it's done is it's actually welded out all those overlapping lines for me. So using this module I can easily type in Hindi, Arabic, Chinese, Korean in whatever font I want. which I've got my drop down list here. Uh, and that bring those into the program. That's a great way of bringing in all different languages. So, okay, I'll show you one more thing with Vinyl Master Letter. Let's create a new page, I think. And that is all the extras you get with the program. So if I come here and click on, like, General Clip Art, you can see here we get all this clip art with the program, like so. And if I double-click on something, I can just paste it in like that. If I go to wireframe mode, you can see you can cut that out straight away. Other things include the corporate logos here. So we can just click on any of these, double click on this, and again, wireframe mode, it's ready to cut out. Uh, and road and related signs, so you might go to say pedestrian signs for example, let's change the view, and we've got all these as well. And of course we shouldn't forget that Vinyl Master Letter also includes more than 5,000 fonts. So, you know, there's a lot going on with this product. So as you can see, Vinyl Master Letter comes with many more tools and features when compared to Vinyl Master Cut. And I haven't shown you all of them either. So if you want to have greater control over your artwork and its design and layout, all the rest of it, you know, please consider upgrading to Vinyl Master Letter. Now, if you want to take it a step further and you really do need to manage your cut files and your output and those sorts of things, you know, like working with oversized artwork, etc., and you'd like to access, you know, more advanced tools and features, more professional type tools, then let's have a look at Vinyl Master Pro. Okay, so I've loaded up Vinyl Master Pro here. So I'll just quickly explain what I mean by cut plus letter plus X equals Pro. What that means is that everything I've shown you in cut, or that you know about cut, and everything I've shown you today in letter, plus a whole bunch of additional tools, are all in Vinyl Master Pro. So that's how we determine the program. It's one program plus another plus more tools and features equals Pro, and then later on I'll talk about Designer. So I'm going to go up here and show you what I'm talking about. This is a good example of a situation you might find where you have a lot of work to cut out, um, multiple colours, lots of things to do. So this is what we're talking about, production oriented workflow. So here I'd come up and I'd click on send a cut file. And you see this module pops up and it shows me all the artwork I've sent to the, or that I wish to send to a cut file. And I can uncheck these colours and those will not be sent to the cut file. If I check them back on, you can see they're coming in the preview here, and I can click send, and that loads it directly into the cut file here. And these white strips here are representing the media, or the vinyl in my vinyl cutter. Um, and you can see here a picture to show you what the orientation is and how it's actually working. So I can come in here and I can position things um, as I see fit, um, and I can even add more text if I wanted to as an example. So I've got lots of control over this particular cut file. The other thing I can do is I can click Save As. So you can see I've got black here, white, green, and so on and so forth down all those colours. So I can actually save the cut file and open it later and add more jobs to it um, and append to it and modify it as much as I like. So that's a good thing about Vinyl Master Pro. It gives you more production capability. I can press this Nest button here and you can see it automatically nests all these cut files uh, and it saves a whole bunch of media and my time, you know, physically going through and doing it myself. Show that again in the white, like so. Now, I said before you can append to or add to your cut files. So I click here, I've got this uh, sign here I want to send. So again, I just come here and I click on send a cut file 
One of the options is to uh, start a new cut document. In this particular case, I want to just add it to my existing cut document. So I click send, and you can see it automatically sends this black, the white section, the little green bit that we had there and that here, etc. So again, I can press nest, and you can see it, it attempts to save my media. I'll click nest here, and you can see it adds the job in, or that part of the white in, and it will do the same with this black here. So you can see how it saves time and it means that I can add to this cut file and I can save it off and reopen it and recut it out anytime I like. So that's a great advantage with Vinyl Master Pro. Another example is this job here, which you can see is rather large, it's 46 inches odd, um, and there's no way I can cut that out on my 24 inch cutter, it's just not going to work. So if I send that to the cut file again, so now what I want to do is select this option this time, send to a new cut document because I don't want to append it to my existing cut document. So I click send and you can see it loads it directly into here and it's allowing for the two sections here. Now I can set the tile overlap or I can go into the more advanced section here and click on edit and if I select the item here I can actually drag down a chopping guide. So I can actually cut it anywhere I like so I might prefer to cut it just there for example. And you can see when I zoom in, what it actually does is it creates the two separate sections, as you can see here. And there's an overlap, which I can set to any value I like. At the moment, I've just got it set to zero. Um, and actually, I'll undo that just to show you what I mean. If I set the overlap to, say, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, and I drag a chopping guide, you can see what it's going to do, how it's overlapped this, the two sections here by a quarter of an inch. And when I cut this out and weed it, You'll see these little triangles here. These are alignment marks. So all I have to do is put the first layer on like this and then um, put my application tape on my second layer, go on the job itself and just line up these two triangles. As you can see as I go to the other side here and it will line up perfectly for me. So these are the sorts of things that will save your time. I click apply and you can see now I've got this section and this section like so. And what I can do is I can then uh, position this where I want it to go. I mean, in this particular case, what I might do is put that up like that and then bring in the, this section just below it here. So I'm saving as much media as I can. So I can now send that to the cutter. Or alternatively, I can do this and place it like so. And when I send it to uh, cut all, and you can see that it's showing me it's going to cut this section, which is part one of tile one. And this is part two of tile one and I can send that off to the cutter and cut that out. So that's just one example of how Vinyl Master Pro can assist you to deal with oversized artwork. Another example, if I come here, actually I'll have to open that job up, I'll just close out of that now, and we'll close out of that. Let's open this job here. So here's an example of a typical type sign you might want to cut out. So I'll send this to the cut file as well, click send and I'm just going to show you speed weed. So if I drag over a marquee over that and click on that advanced section and select that text there and hit speed weed, you can see it adds this line in here which allows um, more rapid weeding. It just saves a lot of time. But I might not like the position of that line, so if I just double click I can remove it and I can put it say there. I might want a vertical one and I can put it there like that and I click apply and as you can see it applies these speed weeds without actually going into the text itself and I could say position this bit of orange here and again I could um, put a speed weed around that as well and I might prefer not to have it there but maybe a vertical one like so. so that's how speed weed works. Obviously there's a lot more tools and features here I'm not going to go and show you all of them now but the point is is that Vinyl Master Pro is designed to save your time and to allow you to produce a lot more signage than you would in say letter or cut. Okay so let's close out some of these jobs here and I'm going to show you some other things. Okay, so I've reopened this job that we had in Vinyl Master Letter and I'll just zoom in and show you some of these things. So Vinyl Master Pro has a lot more text tools and features than say Letter has. You've got things like Superscript and Subscript, Small Caps, All Caps and if I go to the text menu here you can see those in here. And there's also things like Underline and Strike Through and Double Underline etc etc. One thing that um, Vinyl Master Pro does have, which is really important, is text boxes. Now text boxes are a boundary that's created in a rectangular shape like this, which I can resize. And you can see the text automatically wraps to the boundary of this shape, like so. 
So text boxes are a great way of working with large volumes of text and positioning them around your graphic. And as you can see, you can have different colours in here, etc. And you can set things like justification. So at the moment, it's all aligned to the left. We can align to the centre, align it to the right. We can say flush justify it, so you can see it comes right to the very edge like that, and it resets it so that it's always going in a sort of like block fashion, as you can see. So that's a great thing with text boxes. Now, this, these are in Vinyl Master Pro and above. They're not in letter, so it's important that you realise that. So other things we can do is I can do some carriage returns here like this and I can add in some bullet points like so and I can adjust the position as you can see like that around the bullet I can adjust the bullet itself and for example if I wanted to make that a different bullet point I could simply go into here might make this as telephone for example and now when I go to add those bullet points you can see it now it adds those particular that symbol there like that so other things I might want to do is change the colour of these bullets. So I can go in here and click on blue, and I can make this one red, for example. I can change this font here. I'm simply choosing another font like so and making it larger, making it smaller. I can make it bold, and so on and so forth. Uh, over in the Design Center, if I go down to the Text Tools, you can see there's a section here dedicated to text boxes, or also known as paragraph text. I can set things like the columns, percentage and the gaps between columns uh, and line spacing and all these sorts of things. I mean an example of that would be, if I zoom into this here, and if I go up to node edit mode here and we click on the text box, you'll see these lines appear as we go down like so. And you can actually adjust the line spacing between the text itself. And this gives us a great deal of control over our artwork so that we can lay things out. A good example of that would be on page 3 here where we've got this text box with tabs. Now this is, again is just a text box and if I click on that there you can see it's just a regular text box and if I go to note edit mode we see our uh, tabs up here and I can adjust these as you can see and bring them in to make the effect that I'm looking for or the layout I'm looking for like so. A little bit of adjustment and that's a great thing with these um, text boxes because you can create things like these menu boards and they're very easy to make. Um, another example is text wrapping. So if I go into here, uh, you can see what's happening here is that the text is actually wrapping around this object like so. Uh, and of course there's many other things that Vinyl Master Pro does over and above letter with text and fonts etc. I won't go into everything now. One thing I do want to quickly show you is the font manager. Uh, in here you can see it's showing your Windows installed fonts. Now if you've gone ahead and installed uh, the extras and the extra 10,000 odd fonts you get with um, uh, Vinyl Master Pro, uh, you'll see this list be populated here and these will show you all the fonts that have been copied over to your hard drive. The great thing with uh, Font Manager is if I select on a font, say I want this particular font and I click on Use Now, that font will become available in the current document I'm working on or I can add it to the library and what that means is it actually adds it to the fonts folder in Control Panel of Windows so then that font's available for all my documents. So you can either use fonts on the fly or you can use them permanently and Font Manager lets you do that very easily and it also allows you to see all your fonts uh, that you've got um, copied to your hard drive and you can use those very easily from there. So that's Font Manager. Okay, so we've now covered a large number of text tools and features in Vinyl Master Pro. I'm going to show you a few more things now. I'll show you gradient fills. I open up this document here. Now you can see here, I'll just go to wireframe, you can see these are just objects. Now these are filled with gradient fills. Now by that, what I'm talking about, if I select this object here and I click on the fill mode, you can see all these fill tools up here. Now I'll click on edit and the gradient editor comes up. Now this lets me adjust, you can see the preview here, this lets me adjust the gradient. So I can have a linear gradient, radial, square, conical, etc. I can click on these nodes here and I can change their colours and change the, uh, the look of the gradient quite extensively. If go to the gradient library here, you can see there's around, well there's about 800 of these gradients in here. And I can apply any of these uh, and I'll make it conical again, actually I'll make it square just to make the point uh, accept. And you can see here what's happened is we've created this uh, gradient fill here. Now you can combine gradients together uh, and you can create some pretty amazing artwork. An example of some of those things is say for example this artwork here, if I go to wireframe again you can see this is just a whole bunch of objects and if I click on this here and this here these two different sections you can see these are just gradients I mean if I go to the fill mode here 
um, these are just gradients as you can see and by using clipping paths and things I'll just undo what I had there control Z you can see I can create this artwork which is you know quite amazing really this is all vectors with gradient fills now similar to those um, you've also got textures I'll just close out of this now um, just give us a bit more room here and I'll open up the textures here and as you can see here we've got these texture fills and again it's the same sort of thing if I go into wireframe you can see these are just objects and these have been filled with textures. If I come here to textures and as you can see I get a preview of all these uh, textures I've got in the program there's over 1100 in Vinyl Master Pro and if I select one you see it in the preview like this if I click accept that just puts it into the object I've got selected now I'll just zoom in and show you what you can do if I go to fill mode I can actually adjust how that texture is positioned and how it repeats. So textures are another great uh, feature of Vinyl Master Pro and as mentioned you get over 1100 in the program. Okay so there's another thing I'd like to show you in Vinyl Master Pro which is 3D modeling. I'll just turn this page off. So let's say for example I type in the word USA and I'll make that a bit larger and I'll do it in say Arial Black a bit bigger. So I want to make this into like a 3D object. So what I can do is click on this and go down to 3D modeling and you can see it immediately puts that into a 3D perspective. And I can adjust its position and its viewpoint etc and spin that around. Now I can do this to any object that I select in the program. I get these tools up here and I can like extend it and I can like wrap it around and do those sorts of things and adjust colors. Maybe make that a like, gold color and make the back say but more of a red colour and you can kind of see the effects you can create and there's a whole range of additional tools here for lighting and doing all sorts of things so you can change the kind of the effects you get by doing that so 3D modelling is a great way of doing some more advanced type artwork so if we come up here just open up a job here just to show you the sorts of things you can create so I'll just go to page 2 here where we're just looking at the 3D effects themselves so if I click on any of these you can see that the effect remains persistent so I can design my job save it off and come back to it any time later and continue to edit it as you can see here and I can bring back the extrusion and change the bend etc so the effects are very powerful and they remain persistent and these are the sorts of things you can create in Vinyl Master Pro using the 3D modeling so one other thing I'll show you now is the extras you get with Vinyl Master Pro and as you can see here that list is quite a lot longer now so all the ones with two in these clip art here are added to that list of available clip art in the software so with Vinyl Master Pro you get all that additional clip art um, you also get over 10,000 fonts there are also extra corporate logos in fact there's 30,000 more uh, so there's a total of 40,000 corporate logos like that there there's also uh, more road and related signs um, some of these here as you can see there's those there and I already mentioned there's over 1100 textures with Vinyl Master Pro so I've covered the main tools and features of Vinyl Master Pro which are an addition of Vinyl Master Letter so don't forget everything I've shown you in Vinyl Master Letter is included in Pro already plus all those additional things I've shown you like the cut documents and the gradient fills and textures etc etc so if you if you really need a more professional type program for dealing with you know more advanced artwork and designs and actually managing cut files and producing a great deal more signage then Vinyl Master Pro is definitely well worth considering if you're into doing really advanced artwork um, and creating eye-popping signs etc then we'll take a look at Vinyl Master Designer um, I'll bring that up now okay so I've loaded up Vinyl Master Designer here and we can see that cut plus letter plus pro all the things we've been talking about plus another whole bunch of tools and features equals DSR or Vinyl Master Designer. Now DSR is a very powerful program. It does a lot of things. It has lots of tools and features. One of the best things it does is special effects. These are the very things that we're looking at here in this preview. All these effects here are done in Designer. So I'll open up a job here and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'll just zoom into this. As you can see here we have the 3D modeling that we were looking at in Vinyl Master Pro plus a special effect we've created there. When we scroll down we see things like a gloss effect here, uh, a bump map with some sort of like metal outline, 
Down below we've got a fire effect with a reflection. Over here we have other effects like uh, gloss, um, like a plastic look, these different type of metallic looks. And these effects remain persistent. So for example, I've come in here to a save job. I can select that text there and I can say type in Vinyl Master and go back into object mode and you can see it automatically uh, reapplies the same effect to the new text. So all of these things can be done in Vinyl Master Designer. So everything you see here is easily created. I'll show you some more of these. Uh, here's an example here, these chrome effects. So I can just quickly zoom in here and show you those. So those are the sorts of things you can easily create in Vinyl Master Designer. And here's an example of some fill styles that we've uh, applied effects to. So we've got gradient fills and textures and all sorts of things and what looks like wrought iron, etc. Other effects are things like this fire effect, like so, um, the gloss plastic effect, the glow effect, as you can see there, the gold effect, and so on and so forth. Now, creating these effects is very, very easy. So let me close out of these now, and I'll just bring up a blank page, and I'll show you how easy it is to actually create those. So I'll just actually I'll turn the page off. So to create effect is a very, very easy. If I just type in, say, Vinyl Master, and I'll just make that a bit bigger, obviously, and let's change the font. Okay, so I've got Vinyl Master. Now, I want to apply an effect to this. In Vinyl Master DSR, this is incredibly easy. We've gone to a lot of trouble by uh, creating these presets for you, and as you could scroll through these, you'll see there are hundreds of them, and you can apply these directly to any text or objects you've got selected. So, in the sample effects here, if I want to make that uh, text gold, I just simply select the preset and apply it, and there it is, it's done. If I want to add, say, a drop shadow to that or a soft shadow, I can easily do that, adjust it like so, and I can set like the quality up here, etc. etc. And if I really want to modify this effect, I can simply select on the design center here and go down to shading and 3D effects into the lighting, for example, and I can actually adjust the position of the light, like so, and you can see it actually instantly shows you a preview on the left hand side there so you can see what's going on. I can change things like the reflection map, might go down here and make it say this car here and you can see it gives me a completely different look. Um, I might change that to this one here and again totally different look. So applying these effects in Vinyl Master DSR is incredibly easy and as you saw before they remain consistent so I can just delete that if I like, go back into object mode and it resamples it for me like so. So I can make this really cool looking gold effect incredibly easily using Vinyl Master Designer and the presets here. Now if I wanted to start from scratch, in other words I didn't want to use a preset, so I just ungroup that. And you'll see over here we've got the highlights and shine and reflective and bump maps and so on and so on and so on. But I'll just apply the highlights here. You can see it goes into this editing mode like so. And that's same with all of them, so shine, reflective, and you can see it applies these things and then I can go back up to here and change these things like the profiles for example and you know the lighting positions like I was showing you earlier so you can start from scratch or you can use the presets it's entirely up to you um, obviously there's a lot of special effects you can apply like for example fire and you know you can move this around and edit it you know you can do all these sorts of things um, prismatic effects for example like so. I mean, I might turn that fire off, so if I come down here and click on fire and just delete that, and I can adjust this and, you know, change colours and do all sorts of things. So, you know, I encourage you to download the demo if you're unsure about any of this, and you can try it before you buy. I mean, you can definitely play around with these effects and see what you can come up with. That's one of the big, big differences between Vinyl Master Pro and Letter and Cut, obviously, to Designer, because Designer has these really powerful 3D shading effects and it has a lot more than that. I mean an example of that is the mask editor. I'll show you that now. And you can see here we've got this picture of this duck here which has a background but over on the right hand side that background has been removed. Now this is done using the mask editor and I'll show you how that's done. If I select the duck here and click on mask tools up here you can see we've got our picture of our duck with its background. Now to remove that I can just use the magic brush here and if I left click and go around the edges of the duck like this, you can see it really just removes that background quite easily. It really doesn't take very long. 
and you can apply this to really any image that you've got and simply remove the background using this particular tool. So that gets us around the edge of the foreground which is our duck in this case. I can use this eraser tool to quickly get rid of the bulk of the background like so. And as you can see in a fairly short period of time we've removed that background quite successfully. Click accept and there you go the background's been removed. Now I can see I've just missed a little bit here so I can go back in the mask editor and if I just add a background color it clearly shows me where I've missed these spots here. So I can quickly come in and repair those as you can see. Now there's a lots of tools and features in the mask editor. It does a lot of different things. You can create big nets and you can do transparencies. Uh, I'll give you an example of that very quickly. This sort of thing like that. Uh, and on and on it goes. You can do all sorts of things. And when you're done you simply click accept and it loads the artwork back into your designing area like so. So that's some of the sorts of things you can do with the mask editor. It's a very powerful tool and a great way of creating some very fancy artwork. Now I'll show you the font detective. Click here. It brings up Font Detective. It's just another powerful tool that Vinyl Master Design has got that is not available in Cut Letter or Pro. And that is the ability to bring in, say, a scanned business card like this and look at these fonts and, tr and work out what they are. I mean, if you just look at these fonts, you might know off by heart what this font is, but often you don't. Um, and given how many fonts there are on the market, there's a lot of little subtleties and differences between fonts and a utility like this is a great way of working out what this font uh, actually is. All you actually do is you just select over it like so and the program automatically works out what the text is and if I click search it actually works through and goes through all the fonts that uh, are associated with uh, Font Detective and Vinyl Master. So it goes through the 14 odd thousand fonts that come with Designer and it works out what this font is and you can see the slight variations. So it's a great way of finding out um, from a scan or a photograph what a font in the particular artwork is. Um, this, this is in no way contrived, this is a genuine scan of a business card. If I select over this part of the text you can see it types it in for us, I click search and it works out it's one of these fonts here. And you've got some different options here for uh, searching etc. Once you find a font you like, if you want to use this for a particular job you can click use and that will actually use it in the job now in the particular artwork we're working with, you know, the graphic. Uh, if I want to use this font all the time I can click add and that'll add it into the fonts folder and control panel so I've got access to that font forever for, and for all my other jobs. So Font Detect is another great tool and I'll just quickly show you something else which uh, Vinyl Master Designer's got plenty of which are these distortions. So if I zoom into here, let's just select this one here, you can see that Vinyl Master Designer has a great deal of distortions and I can edit these directly so I've opened up this job and I've come in and I can start immediately editing these distortions. So distortions remain persistent as you can see. And I can edit these around and do what I like. And you have some very advanced distortions here for creating all sorts of you know, modifications to your artwork depending on what you're trying to achieve. So that's another advantage of Vinyl Master Designer. Now I'll show you something else which is really uh, interesting and that is weld layers. So what I'm going to do is import an image click accept and I'll place this image here. We'll just turn the page off. Okay, in this particular example, I'll just go to wireframe, you can see, I'll zoom in as well, you can see we've got all these um, pieces overlapping each other. So if I send this to the cutter, um, you know, it's just going to be a mess. So what we want to do is remove all these overlapping lines here. So to do that we simply select our artwork, come up to the objects menu, go down to welding, weld layers, and the program instantly removes all these overlapping sections. And if I send this to the vinyl cutter, you can see, uh, I've got to separate by colour, you can see here that all the colours have been separated out and there's no overlapping sections anymore. So that's another thing that Vinyl Master Designer does and the other programs don't have that feature. So when you have artwork like this, Vinyl Master Designer allows you to deal with these situations. Now another thing unique to Vinyl Master Designer is auto numbering or serialization. So if I come up here and create a new document, let's type in some text, like lot for example, and what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll go to auto number, like so. And in this particular case we might be doing some real estate signs. So we might set our start number at say 100 
our end number at say 150 or increment by 1, we'll click apply. We might want a prefix of lot and a suffix of, I don't know, uh, Remax for example. And we click apply and you can see that the automatic numbers with the prefix and the suffix is put into the program ready to centre the cutter. And you can see that the numbers are all consecutively laid out like so. So that's another advantage of Vinyl Master Designer. This feature is not available in Cut Letter or Pro. Okay, so I'm just going to show you some of the extras that uh, Vinyl Master Designer includes. So if I go to General Clip Art, we can see here everything ending in 3 belongs to or is additional to Vinyl Master Designer. So these are in addition to the 3000 odd clip art in letter and the 9000 uh, odd clip art in Vinyl Master Pro. Designer comes with over 17,000 clip art images. Okay, so you've got those. Now, the other thing it comes with is 13,900 fonts. We've seen some of those. Um, you also get 82,000 corporate logos. So if you think of Vinyl Master Pro has 40,000, this program has double that amount, as you can see there. The other thing it's got is road and related signs. Now there's 1,500 of these in uh, Vinyl Master Designer, like some of these here, as you can see. Let's drag those out like that. Now there's also 2,300 odd um, textures in Vinyl Master Designer as well. So if I draw out a circle, for example, and come to textures, you can see here there are a lot of textures available for the software. So if we double click on that, you can bring that in. And as I've shown you with that tool there, you can repeat that um, texture. Now, as we've seen, Vinyl Master Designer is just packed with tools and features. I mean, when you click on this here and you click on this drop down of the design center, there are extra step and repeat tools, align space and distribute tools, there's a whole bunch of scaling and rotation tools, um, outlining, welding, and on and on and on it goes. So we've seen Vinyl Master DSR is a full featured graphics design program which allows you to design and create the most amazing artwork which you can either publish to PDF for large format printing or to a CMYK TIFF file for offset printing and of course DSR includes all the cutting tools I've shown you in LTR and Pro. So when you think about which tools and features you need for yourself or your business, all you have to do is match these requirements with the level of Vinyl Master that meets your needs and simply upgrade by visiting this website and selecting Upgrade here. Thank you for watching this video and your time. Bye for now.